Today is Tuesday, the 28th of November. Welcome to our morning devotion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We consider the words of Job, chapter 14, the first two verses. Man who is born of a woman is a few of days and full of trouble. He comes out like a flower and withers. He flees like a shadow and continues not. According to the word of God, our lifetime is both vain and important. It is vain because it is transitory and uncertain. And all of the goods and glories we have accumulated during our life will perish with us. As soon as we begin to live, we also begin to die. Whatever we do, with every passing moment, we are hastening toward our end. Like Abraham, who had no heritage in the promised land except for a family grave, so man, even if he owns rich and expansive tracts of land, retains nothing in the end except a small plot for the burial of his decomposing body. So what does the person who seeks to become rich do? He exerts himself mightily to seize what is now a shadow and at death, something that melts away into nothing. What then is all the glory in this world? How unstable it is. Whoever is exalted by men today is often the object of their deepest contempt tomorrow. Even if someone retains honor until he dies, what help is it to him if he must be ashamed of his own conscience? The person who seeks his own glory rather than God's, may receive the esteem of others, but on the inside, he must be ashamed. This temporal glory is nothing but a dream. In another respect, however, our earthly life is important. When God decided to create us, he also decided to save us eternally. By sin, we have lost all this blessedness and fallen under God's wrath. But God did not immediately award us the punishment our actions merit. In his unfathomable goodness and patience, he was pleased to establish a time of grace for us poor sinners in which we should return and find admission and salvation with him. This time of grace is our lifetime in this world. God gave us his dear son, Jesus Christ, to be Savior and Redeemer. And he now permits this to be proclaimed to us through his precious gospel. O men, you have indeed fallen away from me, and I could certainly have at once eternally rejected you. However, I do not want to do that. As long as I leave you here on this earth, the door of my grace still stands open to you. Whoever in his lifetime will still hear and accept my gospel, turn to my dear son, and persevere in faith, shall again become my child, whose sins I will completely forgive, and he shall one day inherit the kingdom that was prepared for him from the beginning of the world. This is why our lifetime is both vain and important. With our every step, we draw closer to eternity, but our condition in the short term of our life determines our fate in the long term of the hereafter. Our life is the path by which Christ leads us into eternal life, or the world and our own flesh and blood lead us into eternal death. How foolish then are those who waste their precious time on earth in the pursuit of vain things. Whoever has squandered his time of grace has no hope of buying it back in eternity. Gone is gone. If we have passed our time without Christ, we will have an eternity of sadness. 
whoever still stands on this temporal life, whoever still stands in this temporal life, retains a precious golden opportunity in which he can purchase eternal goods. And so we pray. Direct our path in all things according to thy mind. And when this life is over and all must be resigned, O oh, grant us then to die with calm and fearless spirit, and after death inherit eternal life on high. Amen. And we pray. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we join together in prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for our morning devotion, and the Lord be with you throughout the day ahead.